Yo, what's going on boys? I'm number three in the world. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and sub. Just wanna let you know really quickly, I forgot to turn on my in-game audio and by the time I noticed, I was already like halfway done. So yeah, for the first couple games, it's just gonna be the gameplay and me talking. So don't let that bother you. See you. Alright, I got a game facing ice and entrance. Not the matchup I was looking for to start off the video with. It's okay though, I'll try my best. This guy's playing Pump Three Musketeers, but he also has like E-Barbs, Ghost, and like all the spammy cards. Definitely not a good matchup, but the worst thing about this matchup is that they usually run Burp Barrel, but this guy's got a Zap. So even if I get a lock, I'm not going to be able to hold it for long, because he's going to be able to reset max but and play something else. Um, To win this matchup, I'm not going to want to rocket the pump, because then you can just go for like a mirror bump, and I'm down like billion elixirs. So I'm just going to try to pressure. Um, Try to get a lock every time he goes in with a pump. If he stacks up a lot and I don't get any damage, I'm obviously going to lose the game. I can't do anything about that at that point, but... Yeah, I'll just try for now. Okay, Axpo dies. I'm gonna Fire Spirit on defense. That should not get a hit on my tower, hopefully. Nice, okay, that's some pretty cl clean defense, but I feel like he's back to a second pump, so he's probably gonna play it in the back. Um, Kinda wanna just predict it at the moment, cause I'm pretty sure we're like even on Elixir, so maybe I'm down one. Actually, no, I was down two. It's kinda hard to keep track when there's a pump on the field, so I'm gonna knight the back here. Um, Okay, goes for pump, so I'm gonna let that Ghost lock on my knight and then just Axpo on offense. I'm um, probably going to Golden Knight because I know he's back to it by now. Yeah, it does go for the Golden Knight, so he's probably going to E-Barbs right after. That's my guess. Um, I'm going to want to Cannon right over here, I think. Actually, I'll log over here to finish it off. He kind of waited so long to like pop the ability, so that's kind of pointless. But Mirror Bandit, that's annoying. Dash is on max, but I'm going to Knight on defense. Um, I don't really know what to do here. I mean, even if I go in, he's got E-Barbs, so he's going to be able to like shred max but in like a second. Guess I just kind of have to wait till he um, pumps. Okay, well, I'm not going to be able to pressure anyways. Okay, I have to call it like 15 seconds because I just got a call, but pretty much he played like a Golden Knight in the back and then split E-Barbs, Bandit, Ghost. Um, yeah, he's just spamming me at this point, so I'll try my best to defend all this. I feel like I'm going to take a lot of damage here. Um, Fire Spirit on defense. Also going to Knight. Nice, the Bandit went back. I didn't think it would go back. I thought it was going to go to my tower, but that was pretty good. Going to Cannon on defense. Also going to Skelly. Still not taking any damage on my Cannon. Um, kind of like bait out the dash with that fire spirit. Also gonna knight. Wow, that was some really good defense on my part. Kind of a wasted bandit. That's not gonna do anything. So it's just gonna walk into my knight. I'm gonna expo at six. Because I feel like he's not back to golden knight. So he's definitely gonna take some damage here. Yep. There it is. The expo locks on. Um, he's gonna be able to zap. So I'm gonna hold on to my skellies. Actually, I'm gonna do it right now. Nice. Okay, he zapped like a second before I played my skelly. So that's pretty good. Kind of wanna expo again. So I'm going to do it. Because I have a cannon on the field, so why not? It's like right next to my expo too, so it's going to help out. Not if he activates ability, though. That's going to go to my cannon if he does. Well, the ghost kind of finished it off, so it doesn't matter. Everything's locked on my knight, so I'm probably not going to get any damage here. But I'll try my best to get like a tiny lock or something. Nice, I do get a tiny lock. Okay, one hit, not bad. I'm going to expo again. To be honest, I was kind of predicting like a second pump, but he just kind of went e-barbs, so... Unfortunate axe, but I just kind of fed him 6 elixir, so I'm automatically down 6 elixir. On top of that, he has a pump on the field. Definitely not good. Skelly's high um, to kind of like pull that ghost to my cannon. Cannon should finish off that um, ghost, I think. I'm going to go for defensive axe, but I feel like I'm not going to get a lock even if I go in, so I'm just going to kind of like buckle up for defense. That was a really bad golden knight. He took some damage from that, but yeah. Going to knight on defense. Also going to queen in the middle, so if he activates ability, it's not going to be able to go to my queen. Gonna activate my ability. Nice. Okay. Kind of want the queen to like um not be invis anymore because I needed that bandit to lock on my queen instead of my tower. Gonna cannon on defense. Um. Yeah. I feel like he's just gonna be spamming the whole minute, so I have to kind of like defend and uh, watch out for the golden knight dash to not take any damage. Okay. Uh. Yeah. I'm gonna log over here. This is so annoying. I have to defend for like a whole forty five seconds. Knight on defense. Mirror e barbs opposite lane. I'm gonna cannon and then skellies. Also gonna log over here, try to not take any damage on my cannon. Gonna knight, that should kill the bandit. Um, I'm gonna pop the ability, queen's on the tower, so that's a lot of damage. Um, cannon again, I feel like I can get back to three cannons, I'm not really sure though, but I'm gonna rock it on defense to keep them alive. Um, yeah, I'm back to a third cannon, but I can't stop that golden knight from dashing onto it. Never mind, I actually stopped it. Um, the skellies kinda did the job, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna knight on defense. Um, Skelly's high to kind of pull them up high, and that's game, I think, 8 seconds. Yeah, he's not going to be able to get any damage. 
Good thing I managed to get a lock in single, because if I didn't, I would not be able to throw any rockets. I would just be too busy defending and he would win by damage. So yeah. This is gonna give me a lot. This guy's like a lot higher than me. He's like two games higher. Um he's one game off AK, so probably 35, 36 maybe. I don't know. 34. Okay, not bad. Let's see where that puts me. I think I was top seven or maybe top eight. Okay, top three, not bad. Nice. Alright, I got a game. Fissing Mizora. He's playing Mighty Man or Logbait, but he's not playing Amir, so it should be easy. It's a really good matchup for me. It's like a 70-30 matchup, so I'll try my best. Also, I face him a lot, so I kind of know his playstyle. Like, he's super aggressive, so he might go Princess opposite lane. Let's see. Yeah, it does go for it. So I'm going to try to bait out a lock so he doesn't have enough for a rocket right away. Oh my god, he also fed me a free barrel, so the expo is getting a lock. Um, So I was thinking I bait out like a log on the right side so he wouldn't be able to like rocket my expo. You'd have to play a Mighty Manor on my knight. And then um, cannon with the mighty miner to kill Max, but but by then I'd be able to play cannon with Max, but to kill his cannon. But yeah, it looks like all that was kind of a waste. I didn't have to think that far ahead of the game. He just kind of fed me a free barrel and uh, took a lot of damage. So I feel like the game's already over. I could try to go for like a second lock, but I don't need it. I can just rocket cycle. So my first priority is trying to get back to a lock because I need to defend. Well, it's not gonna matter. Even if I eat a whole barrel, he's not gonna be able to come back because I already got a lot of damage. Um, that barrel was actually in the front. I thought it was in the side, so I kind of played my skellies off to the side, but it was in the front. That was kind of a good barrel by him. I'm going to queen to kill that princess. Um, Let's see. Wait, it goes for a mighty miner. He's not going to be able to rocket this. I'm going to expo over here to pressure. Um, Block the cannon with this. I'm also going to log it. Yeah, the cannon should die. Um, Princess should also die to my expo. Expo locks on. Yeah, that's game. He's at like 3 elixir right now, so most he can do is like, I don't know, cannon max, but or barrel at my tower, but yeah, that's not going to make a difference. This matchup's really weird because I find it bipolar. Sometimes I get rolled, but sometimes I roll them. Like normally, the games are supposed to go till triple and like end in like a rocket cycle, but yeah, I don't know. Matchup's weird. Okay, 21, not bad. I'm still top 3 though because I'm not going to be top 2 for a while. I have to get to 8,000 trophies, so probably like 2 games, I think. Alright, I got a game. Got this guy again. I feel like I had to wait for like an hour to find this game. I beat him the first time, so I should be able to beat him again, right? I mean, that's kind of not how it works because the matchup's kind of bad, so he might go for like a different playstyle to beat me. Um, He might be adapting, but I'm going to respond to that ghost with a knight in the back. Let's see what he does here. If he goes for pump, I just go queen behind the knight and then expo, but he went for a golden knight, so I'm going to queen the back. Um, I feel like he's gonna pump here though, so I'll try to kill that golden net and just expo with the queen to pop the ability for the e-barbs. Yeah, never mind. He went for a different play style. Because I remember last game he didn't um, play the musketeers, but he actually played them this game, so that's pretty smart. I'm gonna log over here to defend on the right side. Should only take like two hits, even damage on both lanes. Actually, just took one. I'm gonna expo in the middle. I don't want to play it in the normal spot because then you can just e-barbs and shred my expo. Plays a bandit, I'm gonna block it. Mirror bandit, I'm gonna block it with the fire spirit. Okay. Not sure if it's just me, but that fire spirit kind of dropped late, so the expo dies to the mirror bandit. It's okay, he's gonna have to ghost on defense here. I'll just like queen that ghost, I guess. Take some damage, and then, I don't know, try to expo with it again if I have enough elixir. Actually, he just ate it. Nice, okay. Got some damage here, but he might go for like a pump soon. Let's see. Okay, I does go for the pump, so I'm gonna queen the back and, uh,. Once the queen kind of walks up, actually right about like now, I feel like I should expo because if I let that walk up too high, he's going to be able to golden knight low and just e-barbs on top of my queen. So it's not going to be ideal. I'm going to um pop the ability. Also going to log over here. Fire spirit, um, skellies to not take any damage on max, but wow, that was perfect. Okay. Got a lock. Not bad. He's up like a lot of elixir though. This is definitely not good, but for the time being, I'm going to call it good because I got a lock. Knight on defense, I'm definitely down like 4 elixir. Um, probably 5 because of that 1 elixir from the bump, but yeah, this is not good at all. He's probably going to have to ghost on defense, that's my guess. Yeah, it does go for the ghost, this cannon should pull it. Um, Kind of want to expo in the middle. Okay, that was kind of like a weird golden knight, Um, but he kind of got lucky with it because I went expo at the same time. I don't assume he meant to like predict my expo, probably not, but... Whoa, okay, 3 musketeers all the way up high. Kind of a good play because I feel like I'm going to take a lot of damage on the left. The knight's going to defend the right side, so I feel like I'm fine. But left side is a different story. Never mind, my knight died as well, so it took a lot of damage. Skelly's on defense. Also going to knight in the middle. I feel like he's going to e-barbs. 
Yeah, there they are. I'm going to cannon in the middle. Also going to log over here to DPS them down. I need that cannon to kind of stay alive. Um, Try to activate king, I guess. Actually, yeah, that knight was bad. It's not going to activate king. Bandit mirror is going to do a lot of damage. I feel like I have to log that go, um, what do you call it, ghost into my cannon. That was a waste. I didn't know it was going to my cannon, so I just kind of like threw away two elixir, but it's going to be hard to come back from this position. Kind of put myself in an awkward spot because I feel like I played a bad defensive expo. Or was it the bad knight on the two musketeers? It was one of those, but yeah, I'll try my best, but I don't think I can come back from this. I'm going to knight over here, also going to cannon to defend the e-barbs. I'm going to skellies to um, keep my cannon alive for a bit longer. Well, um, Axbo should get a lock right. Never mind, the ghost kind of splashed onto my queen and the Axbo. And the e-barb also got a hit on my right side tower. So, yeah, definitely lost the game. I don't mind losing this, though, because I already won um, this matchup once. So it's just going to be like 1-1. One, one. It's kind of annoying that I have to play more games to get to top two, but it's okay. Let's see what he does here. I'm going to rock it to kind of like try to catch him off guard. i um, also going to log over here. Yeah, because if I played the fire spirit first, I feel like I would have gotten like a tiny amount of damage. It's okay, though. I'll try my best again. Um, yikes. Okay, e-barbs. I'm just kind of stuck in, like, that awkward cycle where I have to defend a lot now. Never mind. Wait, he's going for pumps. I guess he's kind of, like, cocky now because he got a lot of damage. I'm going to rocket log that. I feel like he can't punish me for it. He just went for a pump and triple, so... You can um, kind of guess, like, how that punish is going to go. The Golden Knight dies, but um, there's a lot of stuff on the field. Yikes, yikes, yikes. This is not good. Knight on defense. Knight's going to get shredded in like two seconds. Yeah, it's already dead. Um, goes to my other tower. Oh my god. Balanced. Fair unbalanced, by the way. Um, just joking. That's sarcastic. But yeah, I don't like that card. Going to knight on defense. Everything should go to the knight. Um, I feel like if I chuck one more rocket, actually, now nah, he's going to mirror zap me. Wait. Wait, he zapped nothing. Wait. Going to knight on defense. Rocket, please. I need the rocket to drop and uh, also the fire spirit to drop on defense. Come on. No, he activated ability, and that's unfortunate. The bandit also dashed, and the golden knight got a hit, so yeah. Negative 31, whatever. All right, I got a game. This guy's a lot lower than me, so I cannot afford to lose. I think he's playing splash shards, so if I lose, I'm definitely going to be like negative 45. I'll try my best. Um, in this matchup, I'm not really worried about the win condition. I'm just kind of worried about the baby dragon and the skelly king ability, so I'll try my best. Um, I'm gonna have to save my queen for the baby dragon. That's my only air card. Well, I do have a rocket, but it's a spell, so I'm gonna log over here to cycle. Okay, now I don't have an option because he played a skelly king in the back, so I'm gonna have to queen the back. I can almost guarantee he's gonna go baby dragon and graveyard opposite lane to pressure because I don't have an air card. Nice, yeah, I had a feeling that would happen, and uh, he did go for it. Not a bad play, but yeah, it's just kind of annoying. I'm gonna log over here to finish off the skellies, but that means he pops the ability on the right side, so I'm gonna have to pop my ability. Yeah, I definitely lost like half of my tower. Oh my god. They do so much damage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. 25 maybe? 24. All right, whatever. In a really bad spot and like a super awkward spot, but definitely winnable. So I'll try my best. Gonna Axe Ball on the left. If he goes for Ice Wiz Barb Rail, I'll try to block the Barb Rail with the Knight, I guess. Okay, I actually plays the Ice Wiz in the middle, so that makes it kind of easier for me, but I'm not gonna get a lock. I know he's back to Tombstone, so yeah. It's just not gonna happen. Um, I would try to outcycle him, but he's back to Skelly King, so no point. He can just go Skelly King Baby Dragon on it, and I'd have to wait for a rocket. By the time I play a rocket, he's back to Ice Wiz, so he's just gonna play Ice Wiz on my Expo, so yeah. Kind of hopeless at the moment. I'm thinking, how do I win this? Maybe Rocket Cycle? Uh, it's gonna be annoying to defend, though, if I go for Rocket Cycle, but yeah. I was kind of trying to bait out like a baby dragon graveyard on the left here by going queen the back, but he's not back to poison, so I'm going to axe ball on the right side. I um, feel like he's back now. Actually, yeah, now he's back with that Barbaro. Does go for it. Uh, I'm not going to get any damage, but I'll play some defense on the left. Don't want to take any damage on either side. I already took a lot of damage, so I have to kind of like preserve all the HP I have left. going to um, fire spirit to kind of cycle it into the tombstone if I can. Nice, okay. So the Expo should lock on it and just finish it off in like two seconds. He's back to Skelly King, right? Yeah, he is. I'm going to Knight over here to kind of block it. Um, I want to log, but at the same time, I don't. Okay, that was a really lucky lock because he also activated ability at the same time. Wait, I might get a tiny lock here. Yeah, that was a really lucky um, Fire Spirit as well. I didn't mean for that to do it, but 
I didn't mean for that to like distract the eyes was is what I meant to say, but yeah, I actually did. So that was pretty good. Um, I want to go in again, but I'm going to expo in the middle just so he can like barbarrel my queen and the expo at the same time. Um, I suppose should die. Never mind. He's back to Skelly King. So I'm going to have to play a cannon on defense. I'm pretty positive he's not going to go in anytime soon. So that was a pretty good cannon. Um, if I thought he was going to go... Okay, never mind. This guy's crazy. I thought um, he was not going to go in. So I played a cannon in the middle, but he actually went in. So unfortunate. Taking a lot of damage. So I'll try to expo on the left. I'll also try to like pop the ability to force out like a tornado on the right side. Um, wait, this is so good. He spent 7 elixir on a dead queen, so that was pretty good. I'm gonna knight on defense to block the bar barrel. He's gonna have to go for a poison, but it's not gonna get a lock. That's kind of unfair. He spent so much for my queen, but he actually defended without taking any damage. Um, maybe the next expo is gonna do something? I hope, at least. Because if I don't get any damage from this, I know like I'm up a lot of elixir, so if I don't get any damage, it's kind of rigged. Gonna fire spread on defense. Um, also gonna activate ability. He's gonna have to nato that back. Nice, my expo does get like a tiny lock. Well, not really tiny. That did like 600 damage. But my queen also did a lot of damage. Kind of want to switch lanes, but I'm not going to. Gonna expo. Also gonna knight on the left to block the skelly king. I'm gonna have to log over here to make that barbarrel lock on my knight. Nice, okay, the barbarrel is dead. So I'm gonna queen high to finish off the ice whiz. Probably should have played it to the left, but I don't really mind playing it on the right side, so... This is kind of awkward because I have to expo on the right side because I already committed to a queen. So I'm going to activate ability. Baby dragons should die, so I don't have to worry about it for like a good 15 seconds. I can just go for two rockets. I'm going to rocket over here. Just try to get back to a second rocket. Um, cannon on defense. Going to knight to block the bridge. I don't need a log. I'm just going to rocket over here. Yeah, rocket to finish off the game. Rocket does like 591, so that's definitely enough. Also log the left because I thought he was going to pop the ability, but he didn't, so... Yeah, that's going to give me like 15, 16. Okay, whatever, I'll take it. Let me see where that puts me, though. Probably top four. Yeah, top four, whatever. Um, I'll go for like two or three more. All right, I got a game. Facing Thunder. This guy's a Mortar player, but I'm not really sure what Mortar deck he's playing, so I'll try to find out. I'm going to Knight on defense. Um, let's see what he does here. This guy's also low. He's actually lower than the last guy, so it's probably going to be like 15. Minor on defense. I'm going to queen the back to force out like a fireball or like a rocket or a poison, earthquake, just any spell he has. Poison. Okay, so looking like mortar, queen, valk, but just poison for fireball. I've seen people play this deck, so I'm going to axe on the left here. Don't want to axe on the right side because um, he gets a really good log. Plays a queen. Okay, that's unfortunate. Locked on max, but so I'm going to have to log over here. Also going to pop the ability. Kind of a waste. I feel like I'm going to get the elixir back from that. Yeah, I did get it. So I'm going to knight on defense. Queen should not do any damage on my tower, so I think I'm fine. So I'm going to expo once I'm at like 9 elixirs, so I can force out a mortar in the middle and just force out like a Valk or something, so I can just outcycle both. Um, that's what I'm hoping for. Easier said than done. He might just play one of those and just poison my expo or something, but I hope not. Just going to expo over here um, right about now because I already have 9 elixirs, so should be able to get back to night pretty fast. I'm actually going to eat that miner because I don't think I have to defend it. Should get a locker. Where's my knight? Also, I didn't mean for the fire spirit to go back to the miner. Unfortunate, but he's had two elixirs, so I'm gonna, um, what do you call it? Queen the bridge to pressure. I feel like he's at just about like four by now, so he might play a mortar. Good thing is he's not gonna be able to fireball it back because he's got poison, so he had to play a defensive miner. Um, he also had to log it back. Yeah, this guy's really low, so I'm gonna expo again, but when I have nine, so I can just block the valk because I feel like he's gonna valk the bridge to kind of kill my expo. So I can just play a knight on it, block it, and just win the game. Um, I'm pretty positive that's what's going to happen. He might try to wait for like a queen. So I'm going to knight right now. Yeah, nice. Okay. I'm um, probably going to poison since he saw I played a knight for it. Actually, he plays a mortar. Not bad. Um, oh, yeah. yeah he's going to play a minor and then log it, and I can't do anything about it. And that's kind of unfortunate. Um, yeah, if I caught the minor, I would be able to like deny some damage, but it's okay. I actually got like a tiny lock. I didn't think I was going to get a tiny lock, but that was pretty good. Not going to bother popping the ability. It wouldn't have done anything. Like, it was going to die anyway, so. I'm going to cannon hide the DPS down the Valk. Um, wow, that's a really good cannon. It's also going to, like, kill that queen, I think. Yeah, it's definitely going to kill that queen, unless he pops the ability, which I don't think he will. Yeah, it would have been, like, a terrible ability. So, honestly, I don't want to expo here because he gets a fat poison. So, I'm going to rock it straight up. He can't punish me for it. On top of that, I forced out like a second Valk, so that was a really good rocket. I'm going to Knight on defense. 
Expo again, um, because he's not back to Valk, so he's gonna have to like defensive minor. Or maybe try to go for like a mortar on defense or something. I don't know. Yeah, it goes for minor like I thought he would. I'm gonna log over here, also gonna fire spirit to kinda like distract the queen. Not gonna try to save my expo anymore. It's already dead, so don't wanna overcommit. So gonna knight on the queen to save my queen. He's gonna be able to log and kill my queen, but I just don't wanna take any damage from that. Skellies were kind of an overcommit because I thought the queen was gonna get a hit on my tower, but yeah, I'm gonna log on defense. If I saved the skellies on defense, I would not have to log on defense. I kind of messed up my cycle with that. It's okay though, um, plays a minor, so I'm gonna have to queen on defense here. Might go for like a poison. If he does, I'm gonna rock it. Yeah, I'm just gonna straight up rock it. He can't punish me for it. Well, he can log to kill my queen and the knight and then mortar, but by then I'll have enough for cannon, log, skellies, and like everything I need to distract the mortar, so I think I'm fine. I'm gonna cannon right about now. Okay, he has enough for Valk. That was not good. Gonna queen over here. Um, also gonna pop the ability and play fire spirit in the middle so the mortar doesn't lock on my tower. Um, also gonna knight on defense here. Fail to catch it, but it's okay. The knight should finish off the minor before it gets like a lot of damage. Kind of want to axe ball on defense, but I feel like he can hit that with a poison. So don't really know. Okay, never mind. He poisoned the opposite lane, so that was pretty good. I feel like two more rockets and I win the game. So I'll try to get back to two rockets, but it's not gonna be easy. Um, cause he's gonna be spamming me with mortars and, uh, miners, so. Also the poison, so definitely not good. If he goes mortar, I feel like I need a rocket the queen and the mortar. Actually, what if I just get back to, like, one more log and just rocket in? Uh, is that two logs or one logs? I can't really tell. Actually, no, yeah, that's two logs. So I'm gonna try to get back to one more log now, cause I already played a log. Um, Skelly's also gonna cannon high, fire spirit, and then I'm back to log. I'm just gonna log rocket. I think I got back to like 4 logs to take his tower down to like 591 or below. But yeah, that's gonna give me like 15. Not fun. 14. Yeah, yikes. Okay, it puts me at what, 7990 I think, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, so top 4 still. Okay, on to my game for 8000. I was actually gonna end the video there and just leave it at top 4 because it's taking too long to find a game. But as soon as I try to stop the recording, I find a game, so that's kind of funny to me. Ooh, he missed a log. I feel like I faced this guy last night. He was playing RG Giant Skelly. He also had like Zappies, Fireball, and whatnot. So, should be a pretty easy matchup. Cannon's really good in this matchup, so I should be able to beat this. I'm gonna queen the back here. Um, This is definitely gonna force something out, like a spell or maybe like a Giant Skelly. Plays a Fisherman. Okay, probably gonna play the Giant Skelly in front of that if I had to guess, but let's see. I'm gonna log over here to cycle. Um, Yeah, it does go for it. So, I'm gonna activate ability and then distract the Fisherman until the Giant Skelly dies. Um, my queen's dead, but the giant skelly is also dead to the cannon and the queens. I think I'm good. I'm gonna let that cannon kill the fisherman and then pressure again to uh, force something out. Probably like zappies or something. Let's see. Mother witch. Okay, I didn't know he had that, so I'm gonna have to knight on defense here. I'm gonna try to kind of like time the knight good. So the mother witch kind of like crosses a bridge and Mataro finishes it off. Never mind. Um, kind of mistimed it, but it's okay. I can just log over here to kind of finish it off. He might go for like a Skarmie since I logged. We'll see though. Gonna Skelly's over here. Okay. Back to Cannon. That's my only option. Well, I could go for a Queen, but I'd rather just play a Cannon on the Skarmie compared to a Queen. So, I'm gonna try to force something else out again, or he's gonna have to eat some damage. Fisherman. Okay, he's at like 4 Elixir right now, so he's not gonna be able to Fireball my Queen. Because if he does, I just go Axe And I um, activate Ability to kill that one Zappy. Log on the left to finish off those two, and then get a Log. But yeah, let's see what he does here. He should be at 10 by now. What is he doing? Okay, um, that was a really bad play because he's not going to be able to afford an RG on the left. He's at 5 right now. Well, he's at 6 right about now, and that was a really bad RG. My knight's going to finish off the RG, so I can just play cannon on defense and uh, play like a 1 elixir card to kind of like pull that giant skelly to my cannon so I don't take any bomb damage. That was once again a really bad giant skelly because I feel like he should have played it in the middle to kind of like tank for the expo. Um, just in case I went opposite lane, but then he played it above his king, so that was kind of bad. I'm gonna queen the back here. Since I already got a lock, I should be able to beat this. I mean, I can beat this matchup without a lock, so... I already got a lock, should be free now. Um, I just don't want to get overconfident and lose the game, so I'm gonna defensive expo here. I'm gonna distract it with skellies. Um, also gonna pop the ability for the giant skelly that should die now. Um, yeah, that's definitely dead. I'm gonna log over here to kill it. Also gonna knight, because I know he's not back to fisherman, so he's not gonna be able to pull my knight. Um, that's pretty good. I kinda wanna axe ball on the left, because I know he's not back to RG, so I'm just gonna do it right now. 
it's the worst that could happen. Probably get back to RG and just play it on the Expo. I don't know. Um, Fire Spirit to kind of clean up the Skellies. Goes for Fisherman. He's back to RG, I think, right? Should be. Um, actually goes for Fireball Log. Not bad, I guess. He's not back to Log, so I'm going to Knight and then um, activate Ability to kind of pressure. Okay, play Zappies. I'm going to predict a Skarmie here. Oh, I hit all the Skellies. Nice. Um, I feel like I'm going to get a Queen hit for that. Never mind. Plays a Fisherman, but I feel like I deserve the hit, though. It's okay. I'll try my best to play some defense. Just 1 minute and 45 seconds. Um, Skelly's on defense. I just wanted to kind of bait out a Mother Witch and not take any damage on the cannon, but he actually plays it in the back. So I'm going to have to Queen the back here to kill that Mother Witch. Plays a Giant Skelly. I feel like I can rocket it. I don't think he can punish me for it. Wait, actually, um, yeah, cause I just cycled my Queen opposite lane. What am I doing? Yeah, definitely not to play. I don't know what I'm doing here. Yikes. I feel like I choked. Might go a bit quiet. I need to focus and defend. Uh, cannon now. Should lock on the Skellies and then the RG, hopefully. Um, Skellies, he's definitely going to go for a Mother Witch. Yikes. I lost in my Fire Spirit. Don't get one more. Oh, okay, whatever. You know what? That's fine. Still winnable. I took a lot of damage. A lot more than I should have, but it's okay. Gonna activate ability to finish off the giant skelly or not. Okay, that was a really good fireball, so he's gonna be able to what do you call it? Um get a pig from that queen. But I'm back to a second cannon, so I can just cannon on here. Locks on the mother witch. Um or I was hoping it would lock on the mother witch. Okay, now it does. Okay, um I'm still up damage by like 32 damage. Not bad. I'm gonna defensive expo like this to kind of distract the RG as well. Um, pop the ability right about now. Also gonna log over here to keep my queen alive. Gonna skellies. Um, that should lock on the zappy. Nice. I'm gonna rock it over here. My expo's on full HP, so I think I'm fine. Also gonna log. Just need to defend for like 15 seconds. I think I'm fine. Um, he can try to get back to a second fireball on my tower, but we'll see. He might like fireball my cannon. That's on my cannon, so I have to get back to a second cannon. Yeah, just gonna have to play a cannon like this. I don't need a rocket since you, um, what do you call it? Fireball my cannon. That actually got so close at the end. That should not have been that close. But I kind of messed up with that one queen in the back. And then I rocketed the giant skelly without knowing. So, yeah, definitely not the play. Plus 15, um, yeah, that's for sure gonna put me at, what do you call it? 8,000. What was that? Okay, some weird animation stuff going on. But yeah, 8,000, um, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and sub. See you.